Domenico from Domenico 101 MMA, and today I have on Randa Marcos, The Quiet Storm. Uh, big fight back in February, took out her enemy from the Ultimate Fighter show, Kyle Spaza, kicked her butt. Now she's on my show to talk about her next event. Hey, Randa, good morning. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good, thanks. Uh, we're two and a half weeks out from this big fight of yours, big opportunity to, uh, you know, get closer to that title shot. How are you feeling about this huge opportunity coming out uh, on uh, August 5th? I'm feeling great. Um, you know, I feel like I've been training for like a year now. <laughs> this has been a pretty long training camp, even though it was short notice. You know, we only had a month to prepare for this, but I've been training since a week after my last fight. I took a week off and I've been back at it ever since. I just want to improve, you know, fighting for Carla. Um, fighting Carla, um, I had to change my style and, and make it work for her, and then I had to get back in there and change my style again to make it work for my next opponent. So um, it's, been a, it's been a really rough couple, you know, uh, months, but I'm, I'm really excited to get in there again. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now you're coming off that great, uh, you know, that great fight with Carla where there was a lot of uh, tension in that, leading up to that fight from your... Uh, ultimate fighting days and I did interview you before that and you're really excited to go in there and you know you talked about her being really disrespectful you know during that whole show and you really wanted to get you know get her in that cage and uh, you know set things straight and you did that how did you feel after that fight I know going in you were you know you were looking to get you know get that off but how do you feel now after you you know you 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 won that fight, and you, you kind of shut her up for a while. I felt great. I honestly, <laughs> after walking out of that cage, I was telling my corner, like, I could retire happy right now. <laughs> this is what I really wanted, you know. It, it, she really upset me, and I really felt like I couldn't just leave it at that. I, I, there were moments in the house where I could have done something, but I told myself not to, and my time will come. And I knew my time would come, and, and that was my time, and I needed to do what I needed to do. And... And I just felt great afterwards. I still feel great speaking about it. You know, she and not not only because um, you know she she pissed me off on the show, but also because she's a former champ. That's that's huge. That's way more yes. than anything else that you know she could have done to me. She was a former champ. She was an Invicta champ. She was a UFC champ, and I beat her. I mean, the only other person she's lost to uh, recently is uh, Joanna Jacek. So that says a lot for me. And then. Uh, People should be worried because uh, I'm, I'm only improving. You definitely are, Randa. Like you, you in the ranking system, you are in front of a bunch of a bunch of great names out there. So you are right in that mix for you know this fight coming up with Alexa Grasso, who is a nine and one. She just come off her first loss uh, when you actually came off your your last win. So she's actually on the rebound. So you're kind of catching her in a good spot right here to put on a great show. Yeah, I feel like um, she's got a lot more pressure on her. I don't really have too much pressure on me because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm in her hometown. Um, she's coming off a loss. She's got the entire crowd uh, behind her. I have nobody behind I mean, like, I'm in a different country. I don't have my Canadian fans there. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have them in spirit and everything. But, you know, she's got a lot more advantages than I do and a lot more pressure than I do. So I'm just going to go in there, relax, and, and do my thing. Excellent, and you always do. You always go in there and you put on a you know a show no matter what. You grind fights out. Um, as far as coming off that uh, collar fight, this is a totally different matchup for you. Like you said, you had to you know change uh, your training camp somewhat. What are you uh, focusing on uh, with her? Because Carla, you had to worry about the the takedowns, or you're kind of trying to. And she kind of stayed on her feet with you a little bit. Now I'm I'm thinking Alexa's going to want to stay on the feet and you know, try to keep you from uh, taking it to the ground. How, how, how do you see this fight going and where, where, uh, where do you have to, uh, you know, take her to, to actually take her out of her game? Well, I think uh, my fight for Carla was a lot, uh, the, the preparation for it was a lot more simple. It was just like, don't get taken to the ground, don't get taken to the ground. And I focused on that the entire camp, not to, not to get taken to the ground. And for this fight, I think it's a lot more difficult. She's more, you know, dynamic. She's got her stand-up. She's got her ground game. She's got some wrestling in there, you know. So I kind of got to focus on everything for this fight and uh, not so much something specific. 
So it's a lot more difficult. I'm not taking her lightly. She's nine and one. Yeah. Um, it's a great record. Um, she's going to be coming out, you know, strong. She's she's looking for that win, and so am I. You know, she's coming off a loss, so she's really, really hungry for that win. Yeah, yeah. Easy fight for me. And it's a great fight. I mean, she's you know you're fighting in her you know like her territory. You're coming off her win. You're you're deep in the rankings. This is a huge fight for you. I mean, and the pressure's all on her. I mean, she has to put a showing there. She's coming off a loss. She was undefeated before that last loss, so she's never uh, experienced a loss. So it's going to be interesting seeing her bounce back and you coming off like you know uh, a great win. And you know, getting it, kind of getting a you know the, a disrespectful uh, feeling off your back. So now you're you're, you're kind of riding on cloud nine, going in there with with the sky's the limit right now for you, huh? Well, kind of. You know, I, I also look at my last fights, and it, I've been on the win lose yeah. streak for a little while now, and I and that really, you know, I'm not gonna sit there and ignore that. Everybody knows, you know, that's what I, I've been doing for the last few fights, and and that and that kind of pressures on me. That's where the pressure's at on me, and uh, I really need to change that. And this is my opportunity to change it. So I'm really focused on getting better and need, you know, getting that win and. Uh, you know, messing up that, that streak that I've been having for a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you seem to go, you know, fluctuate between wins and losses. You know, that last fight, uh, you know, I feel this is going to propel you into, you know, that, uh, you know, the good showing with this against, you know, a very, you know, great opponent uh, in her hometown and making a great standing there. That's going to put you right there. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of talk after this fight, no? Yeah, definitely. You know, she's a huge name. She came into the UFC uh, with a huge name, very, very popular, and she's a great fighter. And uh, this is this can only be good for me. Yeah, um, I'm only focused right now on, on Alexa Grasso. You know, this is this is who I'm fighting. This is what I need to. This is the obstacle that I need to get over in order to focus on. You know, uh, in my next for the title or how many fights do I have for the title. You know, you gotta take one fight at a time. Yeah. Cause if you don't get that one in front of you, you can't get to the next. So, uh, you really gotta stay focused on what's in front of you. Excellent, excellent. Now, have you ever been to Mexico? Have you ever fought there in in any kind of, you know, uh, MMA event? Uh, or is this new to you heading there? Uh, no, I've never been to Mexico before, and I heard you know I've heard about the altitude and all that stuff, and we're really really trying to focus on that and, and get past that, and you know she she's also got the advantage there, you know she she lives in Mexico, so I'm sure she can get to Mexico City and and adapt to the altitude and everything, so and it's gonna be a rough one for me, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to pull it off. Excellent, excellent. Now when do you head there? Because you're gonna get you're gonna get used to the altitude a little bit. So when do you, when do you head down there? I had down there on the first. Excellent, excellent. So kind of like with, with short notice, you know, a month yeah. notice. You know, you can't really, you know, pick up and yeah. get all my coaches over there and, and just train in, in Mexico. It's too bad, but you can't really do that with, with it, one month Yeah, it, it's a great opportunity for you, Randa, and you you got to take it. And I, I wish you well. You know, I'll be you know I'll be rooting for you. I'm I'm always a fan of yours, and uh, you know I love you know how you just. You know, you, you keep up the fight, and you know I love what you stand for, and I love that you you know you, you speak your mind, and uh, you, you don't take shit. I mean, you, you speak your mind. If someone someone does you wrong, you're gonna let them know about it, and then you want to prove it in the cage that uh, you know your words are right. So I love that you came on, Randa. Thank you so much. I wish you luck uh, fighting on the fifth fight night, 114, fighting Alexo Grasso, coming off a, a loss. Randa's coming off a win, and she's got something to prove, man. She could have a, you know, a big exciting fight after this one. So, Randa, thank you so much for coming on. No problem. Thank you so much for having me. All right. You take care, and good luck. You too. Thank you. Bye.